What's good Deluxe family? Welcome back to the channel. In this video right here, we have Lark Voorhees reveals how Hollywood made her crazy. Now she was an actor since a very young age. I used to watch her when I was younger. She was in Saved by the Bell. And now, you know when these people start acting at a young age, they can usually be like used or abused in any type of way. But the thing that really caught my eye was the thumbnail of this video. The transformation looked insane. So let's see what's going on. I have no worries myself, nor do I. Uh, I, I used to think she was bad too. She might have been my crush in the show um, and all that. Exude, exhibit, or uh, possess within my living uh, strata, sh stratus. Um, any reason why someone should worry in my behalf. It's just, it's, it's not. It's completely fictional. Ah, uh, yes. What a fine day to... Can someone comment down below what she just said? What did she just say? Remember, yet another celebrity who was sadly completely ruined by Hollywood. Of course, you guys remember Lark Voorhees from when she played fashion forward teen Lisa Turtle on the 80s and 90s sitcom Saved by the Bell. Personally, I think that Lisa Turtle was absolutely stunning on the show with her style, beauty, and attitude. In fact, looking back on some of those episodes, it's clear that Lisa was also an underrated style icon. However, after a few more years of small TV roles here here and there, it became hard for her to land a role in anything, no matter how hard she tried. And eventually, she just disappeared from Hollywood. As per usual, several things came up at the time with reports even claiming that she had started using drugs. But Lark herself Dang, shut bro. those rumors down and even filed a lawsuit against the National Enquirer for publishing an article about her being hooked on drugs. Okay, then what happened to her? Did Hollywood's constant and famous rejections play a part in her downfall? Inquiring minds would like to know. Well, in 2012 is when Lark resurfaced. Who did her makeup? Whoever did her makeup needs to be fired. What's looking completely different and her mannerisms and speech made it very apparent that something was definitely going on with her. It was so alarming that her mother Trisha told People magazine that her daughter was suffering from bipolar disorder saying, I care deeply about my daughter and I want her to resume her life. There are things that have traumatized her. But Lark Dang, denied bro. the allegation and in an interview with Entertainment Tonight, she said that nobody needed to worry on her behalf. It's, it's much like a... Uh... Fighting a, uh, I mean, you know, when you enlist in the army, you, you get yourself uh, physically fit, mentally fit, and, uh, and, for, and formational wise fit. So it, that is, it's just the same. It's like um, um, stage boot camp. However, it was very clear from that interview and several other appearances that somebody definitely needed to worry because she was struggling. Then two years later, Lark made another appearance on Entertainment Tonight to talk about her mental illness and her mother's accusation that she'd been off her medication. And once again, she insisted that she'd always been healthy and 100% stable. What followed after that were tabloids digging deeper into her life. And the more digging people did, the more they discovered- Bro, it's just so, it's, I just think about it, it's just so unfortunate just to see like, how often this happens to Hollywood celebrities, especially when they start off at such a young age. We have like Britney Spears and we just have like Amanda Bynes. Like it just goes on. Like there's like a whole entire list. It's just unfortunate, man. Cause you know what I'm saying? Discovered she that good. she seriously needed help. Yeah. And as it turned out, even her former castmates wanted too. nothing to do with her. That was made pretty clear in February of 2015 when Jimmy Fallon brought together the cast of Saved by the Bell. And while the actors did an amazing job, two people were noticeably absent, Lisa Turtle and Screech. Dustin Diamond, who played Screech, Screech told Fox 2 Now that he wasn't invited. Oh, damn. And Lark told E! News that she would would love to have been a part of the Jimmy Fallon skit as she is a big fan of the show but due to an intense work schedule she was not available 
Obviously, that was one hell of a lie because Lark had not done any acting in years and she had spoken a couple of times about how she was really looking forward to a reunion. But again, she was seemingly ostracized. For instance, in 2014, she made a rare appearance at the premiere of Where We Stand in Hollywood and a reunion was the only thing on her mind. And uh, the reunion is always uh, being uh, brought up and spoken about, so there's no doubt that after the reunion in 2016, Lark also talked to paparazzi about the Jimmy Fallon reunion and the possibility of the cast reuniting. Everybody has been uh, rooting and cheering for the reunion and we have a, uh, a demo skit um, at a very uh, hot moment. <laughs> Uh, so well Again, in 2017, she was asked about a reunion by Goss TV, to which she replied, the world would call for it again and they would all be there. So we were all on hooking online and, and in uh, preparation for that. So I think it's coming back, coming back around. Definitely. In 2019, she missed out or was not allowed to be a part of a second reunion. Then in 2020, she wasn't part of the reboot of the same show she had been talking about for years. Anyway, if you were keen enough, you would have noticed that in all the interviews Lark was doing, she didn't appear to have it all together mentally. And to make matters worse, she also got involved with someone her mom said was a member of a gang named Jimmy Green. Lark's mother even Dang. filed a restraining order against Jimmy Green because she was a Apparently, constantly afraid messing that Jimmy them. would cause Lark physical. She out here messing with them rappers and killers and drug dealers. Physical harm. So just like she denied she had any mental issues, Lark went on television to defend Jimmy against Trisha's many allegations, saying that she and Jimmy were selectively together for all the right reasons. And she also described her marriage to Jimmy as the powerful union of active, productive purpose. Now, I'm sure that definitely means something to Lark, and only to Lark. We're the same as any other couple out there that's in love, trying to accomplish business together, and it's not a scam or no way to get money in. Okay, well, the marriage didn't last, and Lark filed for divorce just six months after saying, I do. And that was after Jimmy Dang. made headlines for trying to sell a old video of the couple to the highest bidder. But that was hard. Six, a half a year? I'm not going to lie, half a year flies by. Yo, half of this year is already gone. Shorty said, why does she, what? Okay, we get it, we get it. She's, she's going through a rough patch in her life and that's what it is. The end of Lark's issues as she was also involved in a couple of scandalous posts on social media. There was one where she said that her ex-husband, Jimmy Green, was broke, in violation of a restraining order, had lost a job at Taco Bell, and that his manhood smelled like corn chips. Yup, corn chips. Then there was another one where she claimed that she Damn, had she lupus, and in a series of posts, she attacked Bill Cosby, and then claimed that she was not black. However, Lark defended herself by saying that her account had been hacked, and then she contradicted herself by saying that she didn't even have an Instagram account, and that that only further proved that she was definitely suffering from some very serious issues. Dang, Lark man. also wrote three happened. books. Wow. A True Light, Reciprocity, and Trek of the Cheshire. And in case you have any intention of purchasing the books, let me just tell you in advance that you may have a really difficult time understanding them. First of all, A True Light is about, well, by the book's description, the littering of commas and capital letters. For example, the ideal comma on comma true light period impresses upon the reader comma the comma all comma atoned comma importance comma resting comma upon comma the comma formatted comma nuance comma applicable comma of comma orations comma in comma genuine period. What? No way she made a whole book. <laughs> Formatted like that. In addition, the summary of Trek of the Cheshire is also overloaded with commas and is also very difficult to understand, to say the least. Also, did you know that Lark was engaged to Martin Lawrence in what? 1993 and that Martin Mar Lawrence allegedly Yo, Martin did was her my show. dirty? Apparently, she found out their engagement was over when he announced on the Arsenio Hall show that he was engaged to another woman. Wow. As if her struggles were already not Dang. hard enough. That's but wild. you know what? Lark has reportedly been trying to get back on her feet, as was evident in 2020 when she appeared on Dr. Oz. During the interview, 
Dr. Oz revisited Lark's struggle with mental health, including that very controversial interview with Entertainment Tonight after Lark's mother said that Lark had bipolar disorder. He actually asked why Lark's mother revealed the diagnosis at a time when Lark was not ready to share it, and she was happy to explain. Because people were seeing something, and so I was putting a label to it, and Lark hadn't defined to herself what is going on. So therefore, she resented the fact that I came forward to, to put a label that she herself hadn't accepted. And so she was upset with me about that. In the interview, Lark also revealed that her official Dang. diagnosis was schizoaffective thought disorder, which is a combination of schizophrenia and a mood disorder like depression or bipolar disorder. She explained how the Entertainment Tonight interview was the perfect example of how it made her behave. Lark also told the producers that she's sometimes afraid to leave the house, but she was willing to get over her producers. She's like, she's walking with her fingers crossed. This is different. And like, she was obviously normal for the most part. Like, she was a good actor and saved by the bell. It's what was happening during that time and then after that time that left a long term effect on her mental. Is, is what really went on. I wonder what happened though. That she's sometimes afraid to leave the house, but she was willing to get over her fears because of one thing she herself said. In life and in the entertainment industry, and industry let me tell you the show does go on yes it does well if you ask me the perfect example of the show must go on was when lark was excluded from the reboot of saved by the bell and she also admitted that it just broke her to say the least mm. i have to admit i did feel a bit slighted and hurt when i was not invited to be part of the saved by the bell reunion as well as other cast members events Yet, of course, I also realized that having this puzzling disorder may have played a major part. Fortunately, Lark was eventually featured on the reboot. And from where I'm standing... Guys, do disorders just come, like, out of nowhere? If y'all can answer that for me, that'll, that'll be right. Like, I don't know. Like, is it just... Do they just... Are they able to just come? Or are you born with them? It looks like she's really trying to get back on her feet. I thought my life would be more figured out by now. Nobody's got it figured out, honey. You do. You're doing great. I am in a creative run. I mean, do you see this stuff? I mean, it's really nice that she was featured, but I also can't ignore that it's the same Hollywood that has been blamed for how Lark turned out. But what do you guys think? Did Hollywood contribute to how Lark spiraled? Do you think that she should just forget about showbiz and focus on getting better? I'm just glad she's better. But let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Man, nah, prayers go out to her because she's obviously gone through it. Does, does Hollywood have some contribu like contribution to what's happening to her? Absolutely. Hollywood is crazy. It's wicked. Like she said, the show goes on. The hustle out there is wicked. People don't really care about you as much, realistically speaking. But that's life, and it happens quite often. Yeah. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure you do smash the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. I'm going to catch you guys in the next one the same way you're going to catch me in the next one. Peace. Love y'all.